Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I may have good news, and it seems that Microsoft has fixed the update KB5001716. That was an update they rolled out recently for Windows Update Service Components. It seems that this error now, 0x8007064.3, has been addressed for the Windows Update Service Components update. As I have been posting, and as you can see, I'm checking for updates, and there is no error message being generated. And this seems to be across the board, because I've also seen a good couple of comments on the channel this morning, where quite a few viewers have also said that the update is installing now um, for them as well. So it seems now that the error for KB5001716 and the update failing to install has now been addressed by Microsoft. Now, I did post yesterday um, a fix you could try, and I'll leave that in the end screen of this video, but it doesn't seem at the stage that that fix resolved this issue for me. And I'll tell you why, is because um, if we head back to our apps, and just a quick recap for this video today, apps, apps, and features list. Uh, the update installs a little app in the apps and features list. And as I mentioned uh, in that fix video I rolled out yesterday, I did uninstall the update a good couple of times, which for some users was working. I restarted my computer. Uh, the update downloaded successfully, installed successfully. And then when I checked for updates, it would show me the, the a message and say that the update couldn't be installed. So it doesn't seem for me that this fix actually resolved the issue. It seems to be something that Microsoft has changed from their side. And there is no update that has rolled out uh, to fix this issue with KB5001716. There's no update that was rolled out to fix this update. It seems to be something that Microsoft has done from their side. Now, there's nothing officially over, over um, on Microsoft Docs at this stage. And there's only two ways they could have resolved this issue by doing a known, known issue rollback or just changing this from a server side and doing a server side update, which they are known to do. But nonetheless, it seems now that this error now for KB5001716 now is finally resolved and fixed. And also the failure to install message has also been removed from my update history page. So let me know in the comments if you are experiencing the same, if it has been fixed or hasn't, because I'd just like to confirm if this is across the board or region specific or whatever. But nonetheless, for me, it seems to be resolved, which is good news. And now we are just waiting, obviously, for Microsoft to roll out a fix for this update, KB5, sorry, KB503441. And I'll leave a playlist um, in the end screen of this video for the issues and things you can try regarding this update, which has also been a big problem for a lot of users. Now, this did install, install successfully for me, but there are a lot of users of Windows 10 where it didn't. But go check that playlist out if you want more info. And if I do see something over on Microsoft Docs officially regarding this update being fixed, then obviously I will post as soon as I can and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.